Sa Fabian Kiria Kafuru amevutia wengi katika mitandao ya kijamii na aswa mtandao wa TikTok kwa kujitolea kwake ni mwalimu wa kemia na biolojia katika shule ya St. Pius Seminary Nkubu Imenti Kusini County ya Meru na tena ni Mlinda Lango katika jumba la Kingsway Tires akisema alilazimika kuacha shule na kuelekea jijini Nairobi kusaka riziki ili asomeshe ndugu yake na dada zake ila hatimaye alipopata kazi ya Mlinda Lango alijipeleka shule ya Gumbaru na kusoma hadi chuo kikuu akitumia mshahara wake wa ulinda lango mwanabari wetu Clinton Kome kutoka Meru anamwangazia mwalimu mlinda lango katika taarifa ya kipekee kutana na Fabian Kiria Kaburu ambaye ni mwalimu wa kemia na biolojia mchana katika shule ya St. Pius Seminary Nkubu Imenti ya Kusini County ya Meru na usiku ni mlinda lango katika jumba la Kingsway Tires Meru ana wasili shuleni saa moja na dakika kumi na tano asubuhi tayari kufanya kazi yake ya ualimu good morning boys good morning how are you today Bye. okay we continue with the chemistry here yeah. which is sorry it is a metal then we have dilute hydrochloric acid it is a queous to form Yes, eh, Moguna? Zinc orange. Anasimulia jinsi masomo yake ya sekondari alikatika kwa kukosa karo. My name is Fabian Kiria Kaburu. I work with the KK Security and I'm also a chemistry biology teacher. So Fabian eh, was born eh, in a family of seven. And 1996, that is when I sat for KCP with my elder brother, and then we had a challenge of joining a secondary school. Fortunately enough, we were able to join Form One. So the first year in Form One, I had so many challenges. In fact, for the whole year, I only stood for three months. So you can imagine the challenges that I was going through. Then uh, come Form Two, things became more tough than ever. So I was uh, forced to drop out of school so that now I can support my brothers and sisters. Hatimaye alilazimika kusafiri jijini Nairobi kutafuta riziki na kile alichopata. Alitumia kusomesha wadogo wake nyumbani pamoja na ndugu yake mkubwa. Safari ambayo anasema ilikumbwa na changamoto si haba. I was forced to go to Nairobi and I started doing many jobs. The first job that I got, I was employed as a shamba boy where I was paid only 1000 shillings per month. So when I was working as a shamba boy, I saved some money and uh, I was able to open a small kiosk. I thieves broke in and took everything. So I had to start from scratch. And where do I start? Because now I don't have capital. Uh, fortunately, I got a small job in a local hotel uh, as a waiter. Two years again, the owner of the uh, hotel crossed down the hotel. Mwako elfu mbili na tisa, alijiunga na kampuni ya ulinzi ya KK Security. Ambapo na sema ndoto yake ya kuendeleza masomo ya keilianza. Akisema alifanya mtiani wa kwanza na kuzoa alama ya taa na hatimaye kurudia na kuzoa halama ya B minus 2009 I joined KK Security that is August 2009 and did not have even a form for certificate so as I was sleeping I decided Fabian I have to go back to school February 2014 I went uh, to a place where You know, you go and stand for two years, and then from there, you start for KCSE, and then you get a certificate. It is like an adult school, approximately eight months, and then I start for my KCSE, that is on 2014, and I managed to score a C-Prain of 45 points. On uh, 2016, on October, we did the famous Matiangi KCSE, and I got a B- of 59 points. Mwishowe alijiunga na chuo kikuu cha sayansi na teknolojia cha Meru tayari kusomea shahada yake ya ualimu na ikumbukwe kwamba bando yeye ni mlinda lango 
I joined uh, Mary University, still working as Anganda at night. And now during the day, I'm in class. I did my teaching practice, that is uh, year 2021, and graduated year 22 with the second half. That is at Meru University of Science and Technology. I was standing for 18 good years, and you have a family to feed. You, you know, you have to commute on daily basis. You have to pay for your school fees. It was really hectic for me. So I had so many debts everywhere. So I decided I'm, I will continue multitasking, working again, and also carrying on with the teaching and duties. So that at least I can get some money and try to say, settle the debts, which up to date I have not yet settled. I created a YouTube channel and it goes by the name The Watchman Teacher Fabian. There is a reason why I use that name, Watchman. Reason being this, you know, eh, a watchman is someone who is very much in demand by some people, in a quote, some people. Uh, out of experience, where I was working, there were some clients who came and demeaned me because I'm having that uniform. So I used that, that one watchman so that I can pass the message to the people that, you know, Watchman uh, is not an illiterate. Watchman is not a person only who knows how to open and close the gate. I'm a tumuntu akushika lungu. Apana, why I use that name Watchman is uh, because of my students. Uh, I wanted to challenge them. If a watchman can pass well in chemistry, why not you? If a watchman can pass well in biology, why not you? Walimu wenzake wakisema huwa wanafulaisho na jinzi mwenzao hujitolea. Ticha Fabian vile na mjua, ni mwalimu mzuri sana, tunafanya nae kazi vizuri, uh, <clears throat> anasaindia sana, wanafunzi, pia na walimu, encouragement zake ni moto moto, kwa chemistry, kwa maesabu, kwa science zote, Teacher Fabian, I am to encourage sana, hapa, pia sisi wote kama walimu wafanyikazi wote, to encourage na e, kwa kazi yake nzuri, naona kujitolea kwa ke, kufanya kazi usiku na mchana, si mchezo. Mr. Fabian is a good friend of mine, a colleague, and is an inspiration to all of us here at seminary, both the teachers and the students. We are a happy lot to have him among us because he is a picture of determination for the students and the teachers and yes, generally he's doing a good job. Wanafunzi wanapomona na ile sare yake nitasema kwamba um wanachukulia kwamba kuna uwezekano sio eti kwamba kuwa mlinda lango ndio mwisho. Alafu tena wamepata kuelewa kwamba ni vyema kuheshimu kila mtu katika jamii. Mwisho anatoa ushauri wake na matarajio yake katika maisha. So I'm telling young people and also uh, I'm telling people in general that if you are given an opportunity, be it to work in any field, do your work diligently, do your work with respect to other people, do your work with professionalism. Mimi huwa nasema tu, hashtag kujituma. Because ingekuwa si kujituma, I wouldn't be here today talking to you guys. I would wish, because I won't uh, live to multitask, I would wish that I become an educational ambassador in this country so that I can move uh, around the country talking to students, especially those who are in sub-county schools and, uh, you know, county schools because I know those students are experiencing so many challenges. I visited one school and uh, I met uh, students who have children at home in the evening they go to cook for their families so i need to talk to those students face to face to tell them that it is possible to encourage them 
and make them believe in, their, in themselves that they can make out of whatever they are going through. Because uh, and diversity is what makes a person. Those challenges that they are going through, those are the challenges that mount the, them to be better people in the future. Clinton Komeruninga ya Mwangaza katika makala ya Mwalimu Mulindalangu County ya Meru.